Hello, and welcome to the original Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Um, we just played three, and uh, I mentioned quite a few times how much it added to things. So maybe you've played one, and maybe you could appreciate that, or maybe you hadn't played one before, and uh, you'd like to see exactly what is different. So if you somehow haven't ever played one, which I guess there are probably plenty of people... Who haven't despite its uh, absolute historic status this is Super Mario Bros. 1 um, this is something that I have run a whole hell of a lot of ROM hacks of and uh, I should probably be able to get through in about 45 minutes so we're probably gonna put this all in one video let me uh Something felt a little bit different in the physics in that first one. I think it's probably just because I was literally just playing so much SMB3. I think I've got it now. So, we're not going to take any warps on this. I'm going to play this the same way that I play most of the ROM hacks that I cover of this game. Which is to try to show every level to show everything that's been changed. I've never have, I've thought about coming up with a route that just like intentionally shows off all the uh, changed sprites, but uses warps to make it a little bit faster, but I've just never really sat down and done it. And uh, this is a fun game. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit used up on it now, I'd say, uh, just because I've played so many variations of it, as well as the original level set quite a few times. But the, uh, the mechanics are fun once you get used to them. They're uh, physically, again, very different from uh, Mario Maker, which is much more smooth like Super Mario World's physics. They clearly continued improving in a, uh, a very legitimate way, but there's something about the, the old weirdness that uh, holds some nostalgia as well, I find gives it some character too if you're switching between the games is something to uh, play a lot. Just feeling things out right now. Alright. You know what our mistake was, was not getting Fire Flower early on, obviously. I just screwed everything up, we went for the coins, we got greedy. This time we know better. Pretty sure there's a star somewhere around in there, maybe it was just the one to the right. I know there's also hidden one-ups, just hidden some places in the air that uh, a lot of people now have memorized. I've never actually sat down and looked at where they're at. Oh, nice. Submitted for speedrun. So I don't know how uh, it changes, but somehow you can get a variety number of fireworks at the end of each round. And uh, there's some way to trigger it. The, uh, the, the long play on World of Long Plays... Uh, hits it every single time and uh like somebody made the comment basically saying like it was cool but it also uh adds up to like a pretty large amount of time just watching fireworks fireworks explode repeatedly in the run um but somehow they uh controlled it so i i think it's something weird to do with uh ending on a certain time or maybe coin count Actually, you know, I want to say I've heard it's coins. Because I think that I've heard that it's coins. Oh, we're so close to the, the national. I bet with that, that stair finish was close to perfect. I mean, like, 
just a little little uh, air modulating technical uh, drift to the to the left uh, UI, and it would have been just perfect. So what you've seen so far in this game, right, is basically the whole game. This is a, uh, a very arcade style, sort of, if you think about it, uh, way of uh, this franchise to have taken form here. And the only thing that you're really going to see past this point that you haven't already seen is I don't think you've seen the uh, Buzzy Beetles, which are in this, and also uh, Lakitu. But other than that, you've pretty much seen everything in World 1. Uh, World like 6 is like snow, and like World 7 is like dark or something like that. But So apparently uh, we're getting all kinds of achievements here. I uh, hadn't really been paying attention to that feature of RetroArch. I have it set up, but it's just kind of there. But, uh, see World Plumber, so I guess maybe if we uh, can make it through all the worlds on... Uh, on a like single recording like this, and then I can get all the uh, world plumber cheese. Sweet, sweet, bro. Mero cheese. I bet there's one for like the hidden one ups and shit. I wonder if there's interesting ones. I bet there are for this game. It probably has more achievement support than the average, really by far. Be uh, interesting to see ones like uh, Pacifist Run or uh, Collect No Coin. Oh, there's actually one other kind of level that you haven't seen an example of yet, too. Oh, two. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, you can swim. Forgot about that. I mean, who cares? Because it's fucking water level, and I really don't like these. I, uh... I put up with them a lot. They could be worse, I guess. It's fun to go for all the coins, unnecessarily. But... Man... But then that stuff happens. Because going for all the coins plus going through the level is kind of alright. But then commentary on top? Nope. Nope. Blue Testa. Super worth it. Every time. Plus we have, uh... Only 600 short of Satan Mario. Alright, I think the next level is the one that uh, I really meant. It's great, now I'm small Mario. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, here it is. Okay, so uh, cheap, cheap bridges. Constant cheap, cheap attacks. You might say that uh, they're cheap in the way that they attack. And that's because they're cheap cheaps. Hey, 99 coins. Wow, it looks like that's a thing. Looks like it hit a cap, even though it didn't. Oh, God. I have no way to explain what happened there, but a thing did happen there, I assure you. I 
really prefer to kill Bowser with fireballs, but I have not managed to keep a fire flower so far in either of these worlds. But you can actually, you can have a uh, epic firefight with him if you bring a fire flower. Damn it. Which will never happen, ever. some reason. Also, uh, uh, let's just do a massacre. Come on. Uh. There's a power up in there somewhere, I'm sure, but whatever. Whatever. We got through. Working on that speed run. I guess there's not really a reason to go for that because it didn't even give a one up and it's just dangerous, but darn it if it doesn't look and feel neat. my explanation and I'm sticking to it. Just like genocide. Once there were proud Goombas <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was probably for all that murder. So once there were proud species that roamed these mushroom lands, no longer squished into undulating masses along the murderous path of Super Mehro. Bowser. I know I said I wanted to find fight him with a fire flower. It probably seemed like I was going to there. What can you do? I just, a cannonball started, and uh, it just it felt right, and so we did it. And we'll, we'll just let him go for a second. You can actually jump up on those blocks over there, or those, and murder him, but just want to let you observe a wild uh, SMB1, the key too. No reason, just, just look at him. Aren't they majestic? Fuck, he was supposed to die right then and there, but it didn't work out that way. He was too majestic for me, couldn't handle him. Uh, there's a mushroom in one of these. I'm gonna die finding it, but there's something. Damn it, it's on the other side. Okay, all right, well that's fine. That's according to plan, because I had just too much overwhelming firepower for that. Like, you, you see, he's too afraid. He can't even handle little Mario if there's stairs involved. Understandable. I know I'm going for the speed run, you know, here, but, you know, I had to get that 5,000. It was, it's more important than speed in a speed run. Nice. Nice world number. Sweet. Meaning of life. 
You think that in that movie, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the meaning of life is meant to be 420, but divided. I'm just saying. I've always thought it looked like that, and uh, I don't know anything about the writers, uh, but uh, that might just be something that uh, was was written, as it were, as it was written. I'll show you where the warp's at, by the way. It's kind of uh, cool. In the first world, you've probably seen the warp because it's iconic. You go above the ceiling. In this one, uh, in this block here, which is a pain in the ass to get into with uh, adult Mario. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There we go. Is a uh, vine. And it just takes you to a, uh, it's not a cloud level, it's a mushroom level. It's like, there's been one that we've been on already, I think. It was just like the, the platforms that are mushrooms, and then it has a pipe at the end that you can go forward in. I think it's just one, I don't remember. Yeah, they make you work for it a bit more once you've gotten through. And there's, there's one of the beetles if, if that hadn't shown up yet. Ha! I always like to do a cannonball through that spot. We'll try. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sweet. I got the cannonball, though. That was the important part. I, I forgot that I was actually like working <laughs> with a small number of lives. <coughs> I can't believe it's only three. It's been a while since I've played uh, the original without uh, using save states to uh, <laughs> correct my uh, my stuff like that. Which, if you've ever wondered, uh, that's the like degree of real to to being real that my long plays are. Like most of the stuff that you see me do, uh, like the the cannonballing in that last level, in that last run there, it's mostly uh, all just me playing, but then <laughs> I uh, save little things like that last jump there, because now this is just boring. We're going to go through the warp, though, and get back there. If you haven't ever seen going over the ceiling in here, then uh, now you will. So uh, you just get a mushroom, and then... Uh, Anywhere that's tall enough, you can break through the ceiling the same way I'm breaking through those blocks. So just hop and then jump on up there. What are you doing up there? Yeah, what am I doing up here? It's not where I'm supposed to be. We're gonna stay down here though for a moment because I, uh, I wanna kill and uh, I need to be down here to kill. So. Also, I will take that. And then, I guess after that, yeah, let's get some points, and then we'll launch from here. Oh, ooh, perfect, uh, nope, 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 almost perfect. Hey, never mind. Nice. Fancy mushrooms picker! So this is the warp zone, and we're just gonna go straight on into four. And this time we're not going to show any mercy to Mr. Lakitu here. I'm just going to take him right out, put him out of his misery, and then we're just going to charge through the level like there's nothing to stop us except collecting some money along the way. Nice. I love it when I can do the stair thing, it's cool. Feels fun. Feels good every time. So let's just keep on keeping on. 42, going into 42. Oh, nice, with four lives. Let's die two times. And 
there's that warp if you wanted to take it. Or you can also just run across the ceiling here. It just feels dirty to do to me. I don't know. But there's murder down here, so. Oh, yeah. Love when their bodies just like evaporate into the heat of my invincible murdering physique. Child baby physique. Really makes me feel like a man, and I'm clearly not right now because I need some more mushrooms. So, maybe it hadn't actually shown up yet, but this is what I was talking about for the, the mushroom level. It's the same thing the warp looks like in Poor 2. Ooh, minus the, uh, like, moving platforms. You've actually seen the exact layout to that if you ever played, uh, Super Mario Bros. Crossover, that Flash game where you could play the other NES characters through the, uh, the original level set, the, uh, the character selection screen is on the mushrooms in that area. You gotta wait to get the five on that one, and I just... I can't ever quite bring myself to do it. Sometimes you get it. I think maybe if you do like a perfect run through of the map, then uh, it'll be available, but... Oh, oh, and here starts bullshit. Okay, so, uh... Man, this game's just all been run to the right to win. We gotta do something about that. So here's a sweet puzzle. So you can either go uh, under or on top. Boy, on top looks like more work, so let's just go under. I'm sure under is the direction that we need to go in. Now, hey, wait a second. I th I think I've seen this here before. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This one's not too bad, but the, uh, the one on 7, 4 gets a little bit obnoxious. <laughs> I've had to, like, memorize them hardcore just so that I can, uh easily run through. Lots of ROM hacks when I'm uh, making long plays of uh, that game, this game, and, uh, eh. What up? Man, he's the one that I like to fight with fire the most, if I have it at the time, because he's got so much going on. The fire bar, uh, uh, is, uh a chocobo, right? That's what they're called. Uh... Potobo, Potobo, Chocobo, what's the difference? Anyway, so there was Chocobos jumping out of the lava, and he also had a fire bar, and shoots his own fire, and it's just like, nice. Nice fire, man. Impressive. So I like to bring my fire to the table, and just pew pew him in the face with it repeatedly, until he, uh, turns into something else, actually, interestingly, which I will, uh, explain because it's weird if we get there. We just gotta make it to one of them with fire. Or the last one. I mean, ideally both, so that you can see the difference of what I'm talking about. But, we'll, we'll get there. So, uh, yeah, there's also Hammer Brothers. I forgot about that, I guess, earlier. There's, there's, there's a fair amount in this game, really, I guess. It's not in the first few areas, but there's just not a whole lot. Not a whole ton. Now, one of these, I think it's that one, has a vine in it. Though, I don't remember how in the fuck you're supposed to hit it right now. But, oh well. There's a vine there, just so you know. It uh, just goes to a... It just goes to a uh, bonus world uh, that just has coins in the sky, and you can just skip part of the level. It drops you off somewhere around, like, probably there-ish, because you still have to do the, uh, 
the same ending to the level, it's just a skip for most of it. And welcome to bullet bills being fired at you all the time. Stops when you get close to the end, but uh, not until then. Although, uh, it's otherwise, I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, this is just the same as one of the worlds previously, plus it's got bullet bills, and also did it fucking, did, did the platform glitch. Oh, Christ. Okay, there's supposed to be a platform there to help me. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure there was supposed to be one there, at least. Um, there's a bit of a glitch that I didn't think ever happened in the main game, but it happens in ROM hacks a lot, who don't design their levels around it, where you can only have, I don't know what the number is, but not very many characters on screen at once, like uh, sprites that have like their own like code and everything, so. Like, uh, the blocks don't count for this, but like enemies, objects, uh, Mario himself. Uh, when I say objects, I meant, uh, like, fire bars kind of things. Things that do something. Um, and, uh, sometimes people will, like, overload their level with fire bars and enemies, and then part of them just won't spawn, and occasionally somebody does this limit too close to one of the moving platforms, which also counts as one of these objects for the limit, and then it disappears, and then you just can't do the level anymore. And boy, is it fucking confusing when it happens in a ROM hack and you're just like... Wait, did I fuck something up? Or is this a glitch? Or is this just... Is it just really shittily designed here? That's what Fire and Bowser looks like. And you can also jump over the axe if you time it just right. <laughs> just, you know, because this is our castle now, and... I don't want to, why do I have to install a new bridge just because we chopped the old one down after I literally melted the, uh, the guy to death? But did you notice that when he died, I didn't notice what he turned into? I wasn't uh, thinking about that at the time, but it wasn't a Bowser. It wasn't an upside down Bowser that uh, flew into that abyss. So, uh, as it turns out, that's different on every level. I don't know if there are some repeats, possibly, but it's, uh, it's different on every level until you're in World 8, and then we get to see an actual upside-down fucking Bowser. So that's what we're going for. That's what this is all about. Bloodlust for the upside-down Bowser. And I guess, like, Princess or whatever, um, I mean, why are we saving her anyway? Do we know her? Is, are we just a... Are we just an altruistic hero? I don't know about all that. I think that's what Mario wants us to believe, but... I don't know, royalty's involved with the, the princess, so I'm not really buying that she's, uh... She's, she's innocent. Truly a, uh, developed good person. I don't know. Maybe that's the fantasy of it all. But I think that maybe Mario is not a pervert like many people have said and think that he's, he's just in it to uh, get some sweet, sweet princess kisses. And in fact, he's actually just after the kingdom's money because he's a hitman for hire. Poor Bowser and the Resistance have uh, really been having it rough. The princess has been subjugating everyone except the toads who are her slave race that gave into her willingly. After the atrocities she committed on them, it was uh, really no wonder they did, though. Did you know that the uh, the toads are in blocks in this? Technically, according to the guidebook, the blocks are toads. So uh, every time you destroy a block, uh, you are killing a toad. Here's one take on that. But I think that she put them in the blocks because I think that she built the kingdom with their blood off their backs. But, uh... One giant Koopa decided that that wasn't cool. And, uh... Where we at? Shit, nice. 
one giant Koopa decided that that wasn't cool and decided to raise up an army to stop her. But none can resist the uh, sometimes portly, sometimes child, plumber man child, when he firmly jumps upon your head. That is simply the end. Though Bowser can actually resist that, but uh, but he just can't help but leave a uh, an axe out that shines the same way as the coins. So I have to imagine that it's like made of gold, or perhaps the melted down currency of the uh, of the enemy kingdom, the corrupt regime. Cannonball to victory. But yeah, whatever, man. Let's go uh, melt his face off and uh, help this place re-enslave those fucking stupid turtles, man. Like, what are those fucking turtles doing with their lives anyway? They're just wasting their fucking lives anyway. They, they should be uh, building castles and dying uh, from squishing for the, the Empire. It gives them uh, some, some value, some purpose to their existence. Can't do that in this castle. Gotta actually be slightly patient. Fuck me, man. Slightly patient. The fuck? We don't like that around here. God damn it. And that is when Bowser starts throwing hammers. Why? I don't know. Because he's a giant hammer brother as well as being a giant Koopa. And that is exactly why he became king. Makes a lot of sense, really. You know, I guess the Hammer Brothers probably are Koopas under there. Never really thought about that. Bowser's getting an awful lot of Koopas killed. I'm getting an awful lot of Mario's killed. Alright, so there's a photobo there as well, uh, I heard. So, let's, uh... do this through one more time here. I might just have to use the other warp again. I mean, it, it happens. It happens. You were there. It happens. Okay. Alright. I just... I know. I know. I hear your groans, but it just... It's, it, it's pretty darn cool to just run through that area. So, had to try. Anyway, um... It's all right, we've got 200, uh, totally, definitely seconds. What up, Bowser? We'll melt the next one. I mean, we still melted him, actually, so it's fine. Like, we're, we're, uh, really sending the message no matter what. We always melted him one way or another. So don't, don't be Bowser or pretend to be Bowser or, uh, you will be melted. Very serious business here at the the Mushroom King. Well, actually, at the uh, what would Mario's like independent assassin contract like business name be? There's definitely got to be some kind of pun about like cleaning up your shit or your. No, that that sounded too southern. Like cleaning up, cleaning up something. Got to clean your pipes. Waste removal, something like that. I guess it could just be Mario's waste removal. I mean, it's not particularly creative in my opinion, but it would certainly get the point across, wouldn't it? It, it has a, a particular, like, intimidation tone to it, too. Just Mario. It sounds like a scary name now. That That's like the mobster fucking guy that, that kills people, man. That guy's a fucking psychopath. Dude, I heard that fucking psychopath just jumped on the side of their fucking airships, grabbed under their anchor, climbed up, and killed them all. Jesus Christ. Mario. I 
I heard even when he's swimming, man, he just kills them all. He doesn't even have to. He could just swim right on by. Gotta get that money. Spill that blood. Money go. Yeah. I'm not even sure how I can throw fire underwater, come to think of it. Well, I can't. I can't. I figured out it was illogical, and uh, it just stopped. That's what happened. More cheeps. I put a lot of time into, uh, oh shit, <laughs> into playing that level a lot, uh, and the, there's a way that you can just run straight through the entire thing, but it's uh, not, not something that I uh, was able to get on that time, unfortunately, but it's a lot of fun to pull off, so uh, we'll do, uh, do double warp this time. You get to see the other warp. Obviously, I'm just letting you see the entire game, you know. And then we'll uh, we'll get back up to that pretty quickly. I swear that there's normally a star somewhere around in there. I don't know. I, I'm going crazy, man. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was just an inch over to the side and I just fucked it up. I don't know. I guess I'll uh, abstain from the murder this time. We'll just get straight up in there. Though there was a life over there, wasn't there? Hmm. Well, I guess maybe I will remember that if it happens again. But it should be fine. We should just have it now. Leaderboard attempt canceled! No! See, the key two has a sprite limit. He understands. He'll only throw three on screen at a time because if he uh, doesn't, he fucks everything up. But there are some things that Lakito knows that the creators of Rob Hacks don't. Lakito is kind of a smart guy, you know? More than he's given credit for. But I mean, that's why he's allowed to drive the cloud. Instead of just walk along on the ground and uh, have a measly shell that he will just be smashed into and then kicked around and killed by Mario. It's good to be a Lakitu. Not when there's an experienced Mario around, though, because uh, I tend to just hunt them out of a mix of hatred and ability to be able to, you know. But... Better gig than most. Better than Hallway Goomba. Man, who wants to fucking be Hallway Goomba? Like... Let's try to get this easier. Yeah, okay. So, if I just do do this... Nice. Yeah, man, if you, if you came to work and you saw that your duty was Hallway Goomba after you'd been watching the news of, uh... Plowing through, uh, world, you know, like, maybe one through six. All right, so let's just go we were seven, right? I think I died in seven. Did I die in the castle here or three? I don't know, whatever. Somewhere in here. I know that much, so let's do it. Duck Mario, yes. Yes. Yes, Mario. Can't remember, 
there's definitely a power up in one of the Hammer Brothers forts. You can call it a fort. Can you call two lines a fort? I mean, I think that's most aptly describes them, but just a nice fucking fort, losers. But I don't know which one it is. Maybe it was the last one. Come on, just give me my fucking stuff, man. Give me the good stuff. This is a... Oh, no, okay, never mind. thought that that was a, uh, a one-up, but we got that actually previously. There, didn't we? Memory and such, wow. 5K. costs us our hell. That was the plan from the start. That is who we are now. It's who we've always been. Deep down. It's who we've always been. You know it. You and I know it both. We've seen it from day one. Are we back to where I was yet? Where did I die? Oh, I died on the cheaps. That's what I died on. All right, so I gotta take this one really slow and cautiously. That's what I uh, learned. So we're just gonna be really slow and cautious and take our time and not try to uh, do anything neat that uh, would just make it more difficult and, uh, and uh, not be safe or smart. We're just gonna, we'll get to the end when we get to the end and we won't even worry about it. And, uh, I don't care what anybody says. Hey, look, new spaces, new places to die and jump across. I don't know if that's anything. It just kind of happened. It sounded like something that existed anyway. So, this one, all right, you're going to want to go in the bottom and then the middle. And then the top, a nice one, two, three, anything else, and you'll be obnoxiously reset at the beginning. Now here it really tricks you, because you're like, oh, I should go the bottom way, because it looks harder. So that's obviously the way I need to go. Nope, I need to make some weird fucking check mark pattern, like uh, right there, and then I think you go up there or some shit, and it's fine. Yep, so that's how you do that. Uh, amazing, and, yep, mm-hmm, the best. So, such impress, uh, am I? Ha! Ah! No! Knew it was gonna be safe the entire time. Just added that in for viewer drama. You know how it is. So, what a master plumber. Uh, even though I'm using the warps, so I guess that that is not factored in to the uh, achievement for that. See, eight, one, I think it's something in eight that has the, like, killer jump. Which I, uh, supremely enjoyed just floating over as casually as I possibly could in, uh, Power Peach Sis. It, I remember the jump tripping me up, uh, when I was first playing the game when I was real young, but then I ended up playing it a lot more and got used to it, and so it's not really a big thing, but I, uh, I know it has a reputation. I think it's in... Maybe it's... I think it's in A1. I think we're, I think we're about to see it. There's a, there's a lot of segmented ground here, which is the precursor to it. So, all right, I gotta focus and get through this here. 
gotta be super the duperest serious or else we might not see the end of this game and that would just be absolutely unacceptable so we're just gonna have to uh, really you know the old drill take it real slow and cautious and really measure each jump um, or else this is exactly what will happen to you. Hello and welcome to Super Mario Brothers 1, and uh, uh, welcome back. What a game. What a game. Um, it's just, it's got all of the gaming in it that you could ever need, because if you get tired of almost beating it, you can always just go all the way back to the fucking beginning, and then it will just be like a whole new game all over again. You'll be grinding out that speed run, though. Did you know that there is another level set for this game, in addition to the one that you think that you know about? If you only know about one. So, you probably uh, know about the Lost Levels. It was the uh, Japanese Mario 2, uh, and then got turned into quote-unquote the last levels in the All-Stars level pack came out uh, remixing all of these games for SNES. But it actually uh, isn't the only alternate level set officially that existed. Because there was also a set put out for... What were the two consoles? Mm, shoot. They're both... Uh, home computers. Sharp 88. Yeah, I believe it was the Sharp 88. Uh, maybe it was called PC-88 was the full name, possibly. And, uh... Something else that I'm drawing a blank on right now. Actually, you know what? I think the, uh, the, 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 the thing that I tried to add on to the end of there, of the Sharp, or the beginning, rather, I think that might be the other one. It's the same platform that the uh, the Toho series originated on, I believe. But, uh, we might explore that at some point, by the way, on this channel. Um, I'm interested in the Toho games, and uh, I might play through them here at some point, but uh, I have them collected. The, the first two or three or something like that don't emulate well, which is unfortunate. I gotta get them set up, because they look weird as shit. But anyway, um... Yeah, PCI 88 or something like that. No, that's a that's a plug internally on a computer. Um, it's definitely PC 88. I can't remember what the company is though. Anyway, uh, all that rambling to say that uh, that though uh, those two consoles, the uh, the sharp. Oh, it's Sharp X. X something. Shit, what is it? X1? Is it Sharp X? I don't know, man. I don't know without looking. And I'm looking at Mario right now. Me and him are just locked eyes. He's just such a beautiful massacring maniac, man. I just can't help myself. Yeah, Mario. Swing on that vine. Um... I'm gonna say Sharp X1, I don't know what it is, Sharp something or other, and PC88, uh, and uh, both of them had a uh, official level set, neither of those were Nintendo consoles, and uh, the, the game doesn't run very well, uh, we'll, we'll play it at a point, um, I want to explore the original one, uh, there's a ROM hack though, that uh, ports all the levels into this exact engine, but, but yeah, there's a third level set that exists, that is, it was, uh, I don't know if Nintendo produced it or if they just licensed it, but it is official, and uh, it 
the, the game itself, uh, at least on one of those consoles, doesn't have screen scroll. You, uh, you, like, jump from screen to screen at a time, like, when you reach the border, so it's really weird and awkward for this game. But, uh, also really unique, and I just want to see the unique awesomeness of it. Awfulness of it, I mean. I legitimately meant to say awfulness, even though by my tone you can clearly tell that I kind of find it awesome and entertaining. Okay, so that's one of the jumps. That's not the one I was thinking of, though. Yeah, okay, so the one I was thinking of is not on this level, then. But, uh, look at how these fucking endings get, man. They're intense. <laughs> I love the, uh, the staircase leading up in 8-3. It's such a, uh, robust and structurally sound staircase that I just can't, can't hardly believe it. I'm so impressed by the, the mechanics of it. The, the engineering, the sheer engineering. I was wondering if there's a way to get on top of that. I bet there is. I bet if you just time it just right, I bet I could work it out with save states sometimes. Sometime. Maybe I have done it before, I'm not actually sure that I haven't in at least one one ROM hack. Sometimes I'll just try something like that out uh, while I'm using the, uh, the editing and save states to cut out everything else. I'll just test out. Oh, here it is. I'll just uh, test out something like that. So, uh, that jump sucks, that is very intimidating, there's a lot of ways to fall in the holes. It's actually not the way that I normally do that jump, um, that way scared the shit out of me, to be honest, but just kind of watched it unfold, just like I watched that jump onto that Koopa unfold. I just had to rip its wings off, and I almost fell in the hole over it, but you have to send those motherfuckers a message from Mario. Nobody fucks with Mario. Good thing that uh, Luigi's not really in this game. I don't know if he'd have the stomach for the business here. He he gets into it eventually though, but you can see he's always being eaten up inside by the the guilt of you know he's he's not the man that Mario is. He he knows what's going on to an extent more, but he uh, he just wrestles with it. He doesn't really admit it to himself fully. And it's always on his mind, and so he's just off his game and shivering and shuddering. A lot of the shivering is from drinking. It's a horrible situation to be in, but it's a situation that he put himself in. So anyway, check out this shit. Call those engineers up. Give them a job. I don't know how the fuck they did it, but holy shit. Impressive. Now, this level can be really annoying if you don't know where you're going. It's a maze level. You have to go down certain pipes, and uh, at this point I have visually memorized where they're at. But that's the first one. You can go down a lot of these pipes, and they're not what you want. This one, uh, you're going to this pipe up here, just with that. And there's, there's a plant in there. I don't know why it didn't come out. And then uh, cheap start showing up, and you make one jump, and then you're good. And then there's a water level. And then after this, there's a really hard combination of a uh, Hammer Brother and Pit and Bowser. And we're gonna we're gonna try to keep this Fire Flower because I really want to melt Bowser, like the real Bowser. I've melted a lot of the people pretending to be him, but I need to melt Bowser himself so they can see. That there's no hope. I, I melted the real one too. So there's the hammer brother. Melted him. So we're good on that. Now hop, up, up we go. What's up, Bowser? Hey. Yeah. Well, I know that it sounds really. Un never mind. Never mind. I had something probably working, but uh, but we fucked it up. So uh, let's just tell everybody that we melted Bowser. And then maybe we're small now for another reason. Nice. We have completed the original Mario Brothers. So that that's what the original game's like. So you can see that it had a like fair amount of characters in it already for enemies. Um, but 
the power-up was just Mushroom and Fire Flower, and uh, really all the levels were basically the same. Same more or less thing, not really, uh, no special blocks, nothing. So, if, uh, if you haven't ever seen Super Mario Bros. 3 played, you should go check that out, because it was the, like, best-selling game on this console for the era, and there's a good reason for that. It took a popular franchise and just added so much to it. But, not everything came from it, which is where I'm headed next. So, uh, thanks for joining me if you did, and tune in for more Mario, uh, more of this backstory picture here in a bit here. I guess it's pausing like that for this one. Magic.